Welcome to episode 211 of the We Are Auto Show. What's up, Derek? Mr. Michael Rowell, I have something that we need to banter about. Oh, what is that? Every streamer in the world has done the tier list. Oh, yes. Do we you know what to, a tier list is? Uh, yes, we get to list things as to their ranking on a, a, a tier type. On a thing. scale. Yes. The scale is by letters. S being the best, then it goes A, B, C, D, But S B for superior? Sure. Super, superlatives, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Better than A, right? <laughs> Imagine you took a test and you got 101 on your on your test. That'd be an S. Oh. You didn't get an A. You got an S. You got a super. Yeah. You did okay. better. So uh, in this case... Let's talk about car manufacturers. Oh, boy. And this is probably going to take a while, so we might split this into different episodes. But let's go through at least the first row. So the first one being Fiat. Would Fiat be way up at the top or way down no, at the bottom? No, no, down, 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 down. Why? It's a Fiat. That's okay. Why. It's an Italian brand. It's not very reliable. It's very italian mm -hmm. it's very much a d or a c a d a c okay i can kind of get the brand does have presence right yeah it's not an old crappy beat up honda civic mm -hmm. it's a little more posh than that so it's mm -hmm. certainly not the bottom it's not f d i think d, d. yeah you think d yeah i think d i have a suspicion of c okay but, you know, we're going to go D. Okay? Okay. All right. Fiat to D. Okay. Alfa Romeo. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go B. B? Yeah. Why? Tell me some reasoning. Because all car guys love the relationship that is built between an owner and their Alfa. You mean they like using wrenches. Well, <laughs> because the from a car enthusiast perspective, an alpha is a very exciting thing. It makes a lot of noise, it goes quickly, and it makes your wife want to have sex with you. But as of lately, they've turned them into SUVs and kind of boring things. Yes, but I'm going on all time. This is the brand as a whole. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe B, maybe C. I could go for a C. All right, do I'm down. A C. I'm down for C. I I don't okay. think it's any higher than that though. Okay. Acura. Acura. Probably a solid C again. I think. Fancy Honda. Yeah. Mm, does the brand have more presence? Uh, mm. Maybe a B, but just because I forget the S exists, so I'd go B. B. Yeah. Well put together. Uh, not super expensive. They're not super cheap. But they also have made a supercar, the NSX. That's true. They had the best handling front-wheel drive car that's ever existed. That's Give true. them a solid B. B? Yep, solid B. I'm down for a B. Uh, let's Citroen. see. Citroen. Uh, that's going to go for a G. Oh, no, wait. That's not on there. <laughs> um, we don't really know the European market as well. Are Citroens well-built? From what I understand... No French car is very well built, so okay, good they're point. all D's. <sighs> is it F? Is it the? Was it one of the worst brands ever? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they're all D's. Okay, D it is. Okay, Chevrolet. Chevrolet. The Corvette, brother. Where do we put the Chevy? Oh boy, this might be. Well, they have Corvette, they have trucks, very American-made, not particularly well put they together. They also made the HHR. Yep, they've made some terrible stuff at the same time. Um, B or C, C or A? C. You think C? C? Yeah, I think the Corvette holds some value to the brand. Okay. If it didn't have a Corvette, I mean, we're talking D. I mean, they make the LS. They do make the LS. One of the most commonly swapped engines ever. That's true. Do you think? I don't think it's B. I don't think it's on the same as Acura. Okay. I could go with the C. You think Alpha? Yeah. I'm down for that. Except I think Alpha's more exciting than Chevy, but yeah. Saline. Uh, S. What? No. No. Either an A or a B. Um, Not a C. No, I agree with that. They made this the Saline S7, which was a monster of a thing. Did they make anything else? 
Uh, yeah, they currently make uh, GT4 cars. But that, that's not... Uh, how many how many salines have ever been made? A handful? Not many. On this list, there's also Hennessy. Right, which is their bespoke performance. That's fine. We're just, in our opinion, where does the brand go? Uh, at least a B for me for saline. At least. The only problem I have with saline is you can't buy one. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean that it's it's low quality. I agree, but they've only they've made. But so wouldn't the rarity limited. make it higher up on the list? I don't know. It depends on how, what our perspective is. Some, in my opinion, and a and a list with Chevrolet, rarity is nice to have, but it also can't get you too high. There's a ceiling there because it has to be able to be bought by people, but the, it won't go to the floor either. So it kind of puts it in the middle somewhere. I would say B at least. I'm down for B. Does it feel weird to put saline and Acura on the same row? It does. That's why I was saying A. It does. I don't think it's an A because I don't think enough people are even good. But to me, that's not a metric to me. If I ask someone on the street, do you know what a saline is? 80% of them say no. But this this tier list isn't about someone on the street. This is about our tier list. I agree, but I don't know. Which is why I think it's above Acura. I don't know that I could put that brand in A. Acura doesn't make anything as exciting as saline. Yes, the NSX would be the closest thing, and it's not saline level. I'll agree. But is this an excitement brand list or tier list? This is whatever we want Partly it to Partly to me it is. Mm. I think it's a, a combination of everything. Economics, excitement, brand loyalty, uh, reliability. It's everything. I would go no less than B, possibly an A. It's going to be for now. Okay. Volkswagen. Obviously an S. <laughs> Realistically, uh, uh, I'd B, B or C. B, I could, Volkswagen I could go B. This. They were the inventor of, well, one of the inventors of the hot hatch. Okay. For that alone, I give them a B. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else on this tier list except for Fiat goes to the bottom. And Citroen, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> yes. Uh, They've made so uh, many cars, to your point. Uh huh. And they're just like Chevrolet because they made a lot of crap as well. And they had Dieselgate, and I don't know. Dieselgate was a Dieselgate was not a brand thing. That was an individual thing. An individual, like one person, a couple of individuals in a department. Okay, sure. But it's brand image, right? I'm just saying. I'm going B. B. Yeah. I wish I could put it between B and C. But you can't. Uh, all right. You know what? New plan. Uh, flip a coin. Oh, here we go. All right. Heads, it goes uh, B. Okay. Tails, okay. it goes C. You're right. lucky. We'll take it. Oldsmobile. F. Oldsmobile. <laughs> oh, boy. Oldsmobile is a D, I think. I think it is a D. I think that's an easy D. They yep. haven't made a lot of good stuff at all. We can move on all. from Oldsmobile quick. Are they still around? No. No, okay. Honda. I'm going A. Can we go? Can we put Honda in A? I think we could probably put Honda in I A. I think it's the most one of the most reliable cars in the world. Mm-hmm. Honda goes A. Very well known. Very. You can get a lot of them. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. A class. Ferrari. Hmm. But mm. how many people can buy them? Mm. Mm. Going back to your statement. Is this S? Is this the first S? Uh, the, here's my issue. Oh, they boy. now make the Puro song, which is a hideous thing. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of pedigree. There's a lot of pedigree. There's some good history. They've got know. really bad Formula One strategy. Yeah, yeah. Between S and A. Flip a coin. Okay. Flip a coin it is. Heads it goes S. Okay. Tails. All right, Honda and Ferrari on this. That doesn't feel right. This feels horrible. I don't know what this <laughs> next one is. What is this? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what We're that is either. On. Okay. We got Hennessy. Hennessy. Hmm. It's got to be in the same row as saline. Saline. It has to be a B because saline's a B. That defines that to be a B. Okay. Down for Re- that. We got Renault next. Yep. C or D. I almost want to relegate all French cars to D. There's some history. I know I it's know. wrong, but I feel like I would just go. Well, 
they got a little Clio Cup car that you can race. Like I did. I, I'll go see. I'll go see. Yep. I'd go see. Fine with C. Chevy and yeah, Chevy and Renault, I'm fine with putting them. Okay. Plymouth. Plymouth. Oh god. We're gonna put this guy way down. Uh where, where would Plymouth, Plymouth be? D or C? Um Mm, you're going D. All right. Rolls yeah. Royce, a glorified BMW. Where are you going? It does have some. I I can't in good faith put it an S. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's B. I'm thinking B. I think it's B. I think it has Rolls enough... Royce is on the same level as a Volkswagen. I know enough brand <laughs> recognition. I don't think VW should be there. I think it should be C. Anyway, Mazda. <laughs> should Mazda B? You think so? Yeah. It does have some heritage. On any given weekend, there's more Mazdas on a racetrack than any other car. That is what they say. I don't think it's up in A. No, it's, it's not. clearly not S. But in- it's B. Infinity? D? Ooh, that's a hot take. I'd say C. And it has to do with the people that buy them. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Infinity as a brand gets D is because of their customers. <laughs> not the brand image not the brand itself it's just the customers the and customers. how they all straight pipe their stupid infinities oh my god it's got to be a d um all right I'm down for d i can accept a c if you want to go c i think it's c i think it has enough like yeah enough brand recognition it's it's a higher tier brand but it should be in the middle. It should be between the two, to be honest. It should. Dodge. Dodge. I, I think it's the same level as Chevy. C. Yeah, I can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All the truck boys are losing their minds right now. Yep. Uh, Kia. Kia. F. Really? F. Really? F. Kia stepped their game up lately. I don't think they're F. D. I think they're D. I'll give you D. I'll, I'll take D. I'll give you D minus. Their new cars look better, right? They are more reliable. They're still Korean. Ish. More reliable ish. Are they on the same as Chevrolet? No. Really? No. They're why? They're not as uh, this is gonna sound ridiculous because they're horribly built. But they're not as well built as a Chevy. (laughs) Which is like (laughs) (laughs) It's like saying that's <laughs> diary well. is not as well formed as your regular poo. Oh god! All so right, it's got to be right. D. I'll give you D. That's fine. Maserati, but I, just, but I think that Kia is on the climb. I'll say that they're D minus potentially a regular D. I think they're teetering between D and C, but they're they're moving up. Okay, Maserati. Can I rate them by the owners again? No, no, don't do that. We don't we don't need any more fake ballers. <laughs> um, I'm going C. C. It's on the same level as an Alpha. Yeah, I'm down for that. Porsche, obviously an S. S plus. Ooh, S plus, 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 no, plus. No, not S plus. plus S plus. 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 Can everyone afford one? Uh, I used one. Can everyone afford a new one? Oh, but on, in reality, though, can everyone afford a new Ferrari? Can everyone afford a new Honda? No. Me. Over a Porsche, probably. Over a Ferrari? No, no. Is it S? It's certainly so what A. Would, what would is qualify it something to be an S? Um, it's in like your eyes, it's it's like the perfect car manufacturer, which is Porsche. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes. Mm. All right, I'll put it up there for now. <gasps> I'll put it up there for now. All right, we might have to it. drag it on back, depending on what else we put up there. It doesn't feel right to have Porsche above Ferrari. Yeah, how would it, how does it not? They're both sports cars, very expensive, very Then they fancy. should both be S's. Same with Saline and Fine. No. Hennessy. No. All sports cars are at the top. No. Saline and Hennessy don't have the same pedigree as Porsche All right, and Ferrari. So Porsche and Ferrari can be S's. I'll leave that. All right. Yeah. Hyundai. D. C. Lately, they've been better. They're on the Kia... Okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you C only for the one reason that they made the Veloster N. That's the only yep. reason I'll give you a C. They're on the Kia climb. Mercedes, is that mm. A or B? Hmm. Let's see. Is it Honda level or is it Acura Mazda level? So if you go to Africa, 
What? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you go to Africa, the car that all the people in the African villages have is always an old Mercedes. Yes, that's because they are literally the leftovers from the Middle East and they get sent there. But they work in the desert in Africa. Because they have a billion of them in the junkyard and they pull all the broken ass parts out of them and they have to go to the junkyard weekly to find the next <laughs> broken part. They're they're pain in the ass to fix. They are. But yes, they're relatively reliable, but man, they're expensive and a pain in the butt to fix. Are you going to go A or B? That's my question. Is it a Honda level? Certainly it's not S. Certainly it's not anything in C it's not or D. S, no. uh, is it a Honda level, an Acura level? It's kind of funny that we have those two flipped, which in theory the brands should be the other way around. But uh, Or Mazda. VW? Mm. We're flipping? Flip it. Okay. Heads it goes where? Heads it goes up. Okay. Oh. Go on B. Oh. Wow. All right, okay. moving on to TVR. I D. Really? They were horribly built. <laughs> they were horribly built. They broke down everywhere they went. That's this, an easy D. It was a uh it was a Euro, it was um British? Yeah. Yeah. British, but then it was sold to Russians and it was just horribly it's a D. Okay. They're yeah. interesting, but right. they're it's a D. We're going to Peugeot next. Peugeot. Again, I I relegate all French cars to D, but I'll give you a C if you want it. Could Peugeot be C? Because they're so funky. Is it better than Citroen or Fiat? Is it on the level of Clio? Mm, D. Ooh, Lancia. Okay. You didn't like that one, did you? No, that felt Why? a little bad. Why? I feel like Peugeot could be on the same as Citroen. I think it's less than Citroen. I th- could it be as good as Chevy? That's Maserati? <laughs> As Infinity and Hyundai? <laughs> this is a disaster. This is the worst list in the world. This is a disaster. Lancia. Um, B? S. Mm. B. Yeah, I'll go B. Yeah. Easy B. Yep. I'll go B. Uh, Ford. Oh, God. All right. You're not going to like my answer. A. Mm. What is the most sold vehicle in the whole world? Yeah, it's the F-150. It's a Ford F-150. Right. It has to be A. They've made the Mustang. It revolutionized cars. The Model T? Mm Mm-hmm. In my opinion, it has to be A. Hmm. It came before the Chevys and the Dodges. They're so slow. They break down. Not not well, no. Well, I, I what I mean, so, sorry, they're so slow to iterate on things and to, okay. to improve, but that's co- most car manufacturers. Say, take take I your know, pick. I know. You don't have Tesla on this list yet. I know. I know. Um, I Ford think it's got to be an A. There's no uniqueness to them. They're just mm. stamped out at scale, a billion of them at a time. And I think because of how efficient they are at building them, they have to be an A. Fine. Fine. Let's move on to the next brand, not this one. What is this? It's something. AMC is what it is. Is that AMC? AMC, yeah. The Pacer and all that, or the Javelin and all that. Eh. Put them at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, okay. Lexus is next. Mm. Does it have to go next to Infinity? Can it go B? B or C? I'm going to toss up. I can go either way. You know what to do. Yep. All right. Heads, it goes B. Okay. All right, let's go and see again. <laughs> Lots of C's. <laughs> Feels kind of wrong, but okay. All right, we'll take Lotus. Oh. So if we would have done this list five years ago, I'd have give Lotus either an A or a B. Right. But because of what Lotus is doing, C or D. Explain. What are they doing? What is Lotus's whole idea of a car? Simplify and add lightness. Right. What are they doing? Making EVs now, right? Making complicated and add a heaviness. That's right. It's not quite an EV yet, but yeah. Oh, I think it's a C. Okay. At this point, it's a C. I'm fine with that. Jack. Jack. Hmm. Where does Jack? C or B? Is it good enough to be in the B category? Only because they made the E type. Other than that, it's a C. I go C. 
They're relatively expensive for what they are. Kind of unreliable. Kind of. Very unreliable. They're extraordinarily unreliable. It's a C. Okay. I'm down for C. I can't put it in D. There's no way. Yeah. What is BAC the mono? What it's is like that? Ariel Adam, but a single seater. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> that's kind of one of those weird niche brands. I don't know how to categorize that. Maybe a D because you can't put more than one person in it. Yeah. Two Mercury, days. the Cougar baby, <laughs> a Mercury Cougar. I mean, you know where this goes. <laughs> Are you sure that goes to S? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it our first F? I don't know. It is might it our first be. F? Do you think so? Uh, no, I think it's a D. I think it's a D. I don't think it's an F. Because it didn't make some half-decent cars. Yeah. Uh, GMC. Uh, C, it's got to be on the level of Chevy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Jeep's got to go the same level. It does Jeep? Ah, I could go B for Jeep because they did supply the U.S. military with a lot of their things. So, uh, yeah. I'd go B. Um, Does the Jeep fit in with Lancia, Acura, Volkswagen? I think it, it fits does. in with Hennessy. I think it okay. Hennessy's a bit different, but the brands that I was saying, yes, I think it does. Audi, I think it's on the same level as Mercedes. I think yeah. it's B. Yeah, yeah. same BMW? with BMW. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, so BMW and Audi are both Bs. Volvo, C. Mm. I think it's a solid C. Yeah, safe. But Very. I believe there's never been a recorded traffic fatality in a Volvo XC90 in the U.S. since its inception. Is that the stat? I believe that's correct. That's ridiculous. Jeez. Buick. Buick. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like you want to put it down. I want to put it down. You want to put it down an F? It's either F or D. It's either on the same level as Mercury or less. It is a Buick. What do they make now? Anything uh, of they, interest? They make your minivan, so it's got to be an S. They make, oh, of course, they make minivans, kind and, of giant SUV things, and beige SUVs for old ladies in Florida. Yeah, it's a D. Does it have a reason to be an F? No, I don't think so. Shelby as its own brand. Uh, B. It's on the same level as Saline yeah. and Hennessy. Yeah. Same idea there. Yep. I know where you're going to put the next one. What's the next it's one? It's not S. Tesla's What's not next? S. No? No. It's Where's Tesla? C? It's not well established enough. And the build quality is shit. It's it's memed as to be shit, yes. Bro, I saw one driving down the road and the third brake light was tilted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the quality control so, is not great. Don't meme. No, it's actual life. Eh, yeah, some of it is. Um, B, I think. Okay, I'll go with it. I B. think it's here. I'm I don't fine. think it's up Just at because Honda it's American Ford. and I like it. Yeah. Uh, Catrum. Uh, I, do we put that in the same level as Alpha and Lotus? I think it's Lotus level. Yeah. We don't really get them here. No. All right. Is the next one an S? Bugatti. Mm. I think it is. I think Bugatti's got to be S simply because it kind of was Concord to cars. Yep. It was the first one that kind of showed the car world that you can have a million horsepower and still have air conditioning and be comfortable all at the same time. I'd agree with that. I'll give it S. Uh, what is this now? Holden. Holden. Uh, Holden, Holden was goes just on the same level as Chevy. It's See? a fancy Ford. Chevy. Oh, it's a Chevy? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. That's where my brain goes. Not opposed to that for Holden. Toyota. Is this an A? It is. I think it's an A. It's an A. I think it's an A. It's got to be. You can't go wrong with it. It's not S. It's not on the Porsche no. Ferrari Bugatti. It is exactly next to Honda. Yeah. Feels weird to put it next to Ford? No, I, I think it fits next to Ford. Okay. I do. For me, I think it fits next to Ford. Okay. Uh, Dodge. Oh, the other one was Ram, I guess. This one's Dodge, so technically two separate brands. I put the same level as, as Ram. So Where's C. Ram at? C. C. Yeah. yeah. I'm down for that. And this is another one. I don't like that they made this its own brand. A Barth. A Barth. This goes next to Fiat. Same thing as Fiat. Yep. Uh, Hummer. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Did we just stumble across our first F? If it's... <laughs> All it was was a good military vehicle. Well, was it a good one? It wasn't even... Okay. It was... From my understanding, it was okay. Okay. This could be the first F. It is. 
But it's also an absolute beast. Only the H1. Right. The H2 and 3 were the most unbeastly things in existence. Uh, they were terrible. They were they absolutely were terrible. So bad. That's true. All right. We're doing it. I love the H1, but they're all shit. Yes, they are. Eagle. What is Eagle? Uh, they made the Talon and they made some other uh, things. Uh, I'd go D. I'm down for D. Oh, Pagani. Pagani. I think it's on the level of S as well. I do. Because it's mm. it's where car brands... It's where a car brand decided, I am going to make the most incredible looking car. That's true. They just decided, I'm going to make the, the most incredibly designed vehicle. It doesn't and it's, feel right. That doesn't feel you right. You don't feel right with an S? A, a, no, no, no. It doesn't S? feel right in A. It yeah, doesn't feel it, right next to Toyota. Honda I think it's got to be an S. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Aerial as in the okay. Atom. The Aerial Atom. I would put that next to, yeah, I'd go C. C. Either C or D with the BAC mono. It did a good job at taking Clarkson's face and turning it inside out, but that's about all it really did. Mm-hmm. So We got next Mini. Uh, I'd go B. Is it B or C? I'd go B because it revolutionized small car driving. It did do that. I'll give you that. Right, it is so iconic. Yeah. It is such an iconic thing. And the old thing. ones were super cool. Yeah. Uh, Nissan is Ooh. our next brand. Could this go to A? No. No, it's B. B. I was doing it's the B. same thing. In my head, I'm going, eh. It's B. We got Opal next. They didn't make much here. C or D. I don't know enough about Opal to go say D. between the two. I'd go D. Default okay. to D. Uh, Subaru. Ooh. Mm. Is it B? Is it B? Is it on the level of Nissan and... Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Yep, I think I'd so. go B. I don't think that they made... Other than the rally cars, they didn't make anything that would put it really at A. It's no, not like didn't. It's not there. It's a B. Yeah. We Land got Rover. Land Rover next. Where'd you put that? C. I can dig that. Yep. yep. I can do with the, with the C. Think and C. All right. McLaren. Hmm. I want your opinion first before I tell you where I think I'd put it. Does McLaren go A? Nope. Or S? Nope. Whoa. I'd go B. You think it goes B? I think it goes B. Why? They're so unreliable. Uh, are they that unreliable? There's a reason why they're nicknamed McLemons. <laughs> hmm. It does have a lot of brand appeal, though. And do I need to remind you of the McLaren 750S, 720S, 750S thing? Uh, yeah, but yeah. And the I MP4 12 C. The naming could use some work, but look, they got an F1 team. They have a lot of heritage. In the- they have like the worst F1 team on the paddock. Currently, right now. yes, but we can't take a current, okay? The only good thing that McLaren has done in almost history is the McLaren F1. That's the only reason I would go with an A. They made the previous fastest car in the world. Does the McLaren, McLaren fit next to Honda, Toyota, or Ford? No, but it doesn't no. fit next to Bugatti. No, it doesn't. Okay, you're right. It's B. You've convinced me. That's Saab. My, that, that's where I'm at. Saab. <gasps> a Saab. It's a D. Yep, it's clearly a D. It's a D. Don't okay. get much debate Lamborghini there. Lamborghini is our next one. Is this S? Uh, if we put Ferrari in S, can we actually put Lamborghini in A? It's got to be S. Yeah. Yeah, Ferrari, uh, Lamborghini's got to be S. Uh, and then moving on, who do we have next? Bentley. Bentley. B. B or A? It's B. It can't go A. It's not. It's not to the spec that is Toyota, Ford, or Honda. Yeah. They just don't produce enough car. It's right next to McLaren. It's like perfect. Yep. Oh, Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg. Uh, S or A? Is it an S? Is Koenigsegg an S? I think it could be because of just how insane it is. You did put Pagani in S. Is Pagani an S? I think it is. Bugatti is. But I, okay. If you ask someone on the street what a Koenigsegg is, they look at you like you have 10 eyes. Again, but is this a, a poll? Is this a tier ranking based upon the Overall questions you brand. ask on the street? 
I think Koenigsegg's an S. I think it's so exclusive that it is an S. Mm. But McLaren is not. Correct. Bentley is not. Correct. Koenigsegg is way more rare than those two. I, I agree with that. Yep. Koenigsegg is on the level of Pagani and Bugatti. Okay. In my head, that's where I put yep. it. Lincoln. Lincoln is a... Well, Matthew McConaughey, so I'd go see. <laughs> wow. Just by reasoning. That's a D. Okay. That's I a can D. Love that. Uh, we got Chrysler. Chrysler? Mm. D. Is that a D? I think yeah. that's a D. They need some Lincoln. crap. Ooh, do you know what the next one is? It's, uh, uh, smart. Yes, F. It's our next F. Yeah. It's yeah. our next F. It's yeah. smart car. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Cadillac. Cadillac. I'm going either B or C. I think it's here. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about sure it. Sure, there's a CTSV, but I don't think that they made a... But that wasn't Cadillac's brand. Cadillac no. is originally no. the first like luxurious. I could put American it next brand. to. No, I couldn't. No, I could put it next to Chevy. That's where it belongs. <laughs> okay. Scion, dead D. company. Well, brand. I'd yeah. go D. It's D. Yep. We got Aston Martin. Aston. Mm. Is it an A? Or does it belong next to Bentley with Bentley all the other British McLaren. cars? Bentley and McLaren. Yep. Yep. It's B. Saturn. Is oh. that another F? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pontiac. Is this another F? No. The GTO. Why? The Pontiac GTO. They were alone. crap. No, they weren't. It's sure, the GTO wasn't. The rest were terrible. D. Yeah, okay. I'll go D. I don't think it's It's not F. bad enough to be an S. No. Suzuki, on the other hand. Mm. That may be an F. Suzuki might be an F. That, that may be an F. <laughs> yeah. Mitsubishi. It, is Mitsubishi on the same level as Subaru? Yeah. No, no. I, think I go C. C. Yeah, I think Subaru has more brand than mm-hmm. Mitsubishi does. Yeah. And so what were these? The two? other two that uh, a- AMC this, is this MG? Uh, I think maybe it is. the new MG badging. Uh, MG I'm not sure. Cars. Do, 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 do. No, it's not the the original MG badging. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't, don't know what MG. that new badge is. Either way, let's not rank the last two because I don't think. We've th- seen that badge. We've seen AMC, American Motor Company. Yeah, what's AMC? Uh, D, with Pontiac. Okay, I'm gonna go with it being MG. Whatever I, it is. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I don't it's Morris or something. Could be Morris. I'm not sure. That's ours. That is our list. Do All you right, think so our list is spot on? Uh, spot on ish. Yeah. I like how we reserved A only for cars that make a lot of them. Yeah, it kind of was. Yeah, and S was only the, the the good supercar brands, pretty much. Um, and then B, C were like the main brands that most people will buy. Mm-hmm. And then D, F were just were a little crap. fringe, but also g- had a good car too, or were crap. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a good tier list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can dig it. If you're watching. Send us your tier list. Yeah, let us know in the comments where do you think you'd be at. You think you would uh, think you'd rank Porsche on the same level as Toyota We're gonna or download. Koenigsegg above Honda? Mm-hmm. Yeah, be curious. Solid. So let's get into some car spots. All right. So while you've been out and about, have you seen anything? I have. I saw a silver McLaren. Mm. Uh, I believe that it was actually this one. It was a 600 long tail. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that you know that there's some social media person around here that owns this car. Yeah, they're big social influencer people. I think they go by their handle is Hammy TV, I think. Is yeah. it, is. it was a pretty nice car. These photos were taken from the, the people who were doing the, the paint or the, the clear coat on the paint, um, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, a 600 long tail, it sounded great. I heard it getting on the interstate, and I was like, oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 10 Turbo V8. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was awesome. Super cool. It does look great. So what did you see when you were out and about? I saw a couple things, and the first thing I do want to kind of rant about. First thing I saw was a, the brand new Ford Raptor R. Now, normally I don't really put a pickup truck in my spot of the week, but it's the first time I've seen the Raptor R. Right. Seen a lot of regular Raptors, but not a Raptor R. This is relatively new. It is. 
It is the new Ford Raptor that they put the Shelby GT500 engine in it. So it's got that supercharged 5.2 liter V8 in it instead of the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost that was in the other Raptors. Right. And I really like it. How can you go wrong with a better Raptor? Correct. I, and it, I see Dodge Ram TRXs all the time. Okay. Which is Dodge's super high-powered Ram truck. The the Raptor killer, as it's known as. Right? Uh, I, and that made me think, uh, what do what I do? Would I go Ram TRX or Raptor R? What would, what would you go? Because, uh, I mean... <sighs> Have you seen the Ram TRX? Yeah. So I'm going to say... I, 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 Raptor R. All day. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't it, think it's a contest. It sounds better. It looks better. It just... It's better. Yep. I think that also the the Ford Raptor has more brand awareness as well. I think mm-hmm. if you ask most people, they'd be like, yep, I know what a Raptor is, but I don't... I've heard of a TRX or I think I've seen... I don't know. Does this coming out reduce the value of a normal raptor uh no it just inflates the value of this raptor you think so yeah there are people you can't buy one for like less than 150 grand uh, i i know these are dumb money i know um a normal raptor though 100 grand ish yeah 90 to 100 something like that mm. if i had a normal raptor right now i would be like oh man Deep down inside, to be like, damn. Yeah. They made a better version of my car. Rightly so. And, like, it's way more expensive. And it's not it's not a ton better, but it's better. You get bigger tires from factory. Sure, but do you think the first thing that people do that buy a Raptor, swap the tires and rims out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. The engine bumping up is the big deal. Yeah. yeah. So that was my first spot, was the Raptor R. It's the first time I've seen one. And... I love it to death. Uh, But my next spot, which is my spot of the week, is a car that I have not seen in the wild. I've only seen it like in a car corral at a race or on social. But it's the first time I've seen it in the wild. It was the new Porsche Cayman GT4 RS Hmm. in the launch spec, the Arctic Gray with the blue magnesium wheels. And I got to say, that is a very menacing looking thing on the road. Really? That is a very menacing looking thing. Looks good. I and it sounds amazing. Even from across the road, I could start to hear that induction noise from the rear quarter glass that was turned into an intake. Yeah. Oh, what a thing. Is this one of your I gotta have one of these? <laughs> yeah, I I so I do, yeah, for sure. I just, it's impossible to get one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They're all sold out? Uh, you have to be, you have to get an allocation. Oh, there. okay. Okay. People are selling their allocations <laughs> for like 50 grand. <laughs> you want the opportunity to buy this car? I'll give me 50 grand. That world is crazy. It is a world that I don't know much of. No. But seeing one in the wild and hearing it, that is the best mid-engined Porsche to exist. That is right up your alley. It's gorgeous, and it sounds amazing. I almost, I don't know. I, I feel like this would be a more drivable, almost more fun car to have than a 911. It would be way more fun because it's smaller. Yeah. Right? It'd be, it would be. It would be way more fun. I... I from what I've seen on social, there are a lot of people locally that are taking her to the track. Yeah, that's what... I mean, every time I see stuff posted on social, it's always people that are out at Sebring absolutely hooning their new GT4 RS around. That's where it belongs. It's, and, I'm, and that's what I was going to say. I'm so glad that I see people actually using it for what it's designed for. I would probably... I don't know, but I think I would have more fun in this than a 911 on track. Because it's so much lighter and more nimble. It's not way more lighter. It's not way... Well, that's great English. It's yeah. not way lighter. It is a bit lighter, but it's not way lighter. It feels like it would be more nimble. And that's... It's mid-engine. Yep. Right? So, yeah. So, yeah. Spot of the week. Brand new GT4 RS. Solid. So, let's get on to the I wish they would have. 
Do you have an I wish they would have? I do. Okay. So I wish that there was a, uh, like, when you're driving around in any normal height car, mm-hmm. a Toyota Corolla, a BRC, your car, the, yeah. any normal Volkswagen, um, every time you pull up to a stoplight and a Raptor R pulls up behind you, you have to take that little mirror thing, assuming it's nighttime, you have to flip it mm-hmm. because their headlights are directly into your retinas off that mirror. Yeah. Every time. Would you like to be blinded by the force of a thousand suns? They're the perfect height. They're always right through the rear glass, right into the mirror. And it's like there's a magnifying glass that somebody's holding in front of the mirror, and it just it's blinds just like the crap out of you. Yep, it's right there. My, yeah, it's not great. Is there, I wish, that there was either a maximum height of headlight or some way to prevent uh, people from having their headlights up higher than people's cars? Well... Wish granted. Oh, yeah? There's a law. What is that? Yeah. The law states that at least two headlights upon every vehicle shall be mounted at a height of not less than 22 nor more than 54 inches. And that's state statute 316.217. So there's a min and max, Mm -hmm. right? 54 inches being the max. (laughs) Yeesh. I don't know that my car is 54 inches tall. It's not. Huh. I wish that it had to be lower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, because no, it, that is a thing. You can't have a truck that's lifted, you know, 18 inches. Right. But here's what I wish. A BRZ is 51 inches tall. Yeah, it's less. Yes, correct. It's less than the maximum height. So of here's my, my tweak to your I wish they would have. I wish that if you were in a truck, you were required to actually angle your lights down. Yes. Because you know you can actually angle your lights, correct? Right. Most of the time, they just leave them angled straight upwards. To the, We can see the International Space Station from here. Pretty well, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I like where you're going, but wish granted. Maybe the height could be a little lower. I don't know. I, they need to figure that out because it's... <laughs> I'm sure you've dealt with it too. Oh, it's awful. It's just right through the mirror every time. It's you awful. got one? I do. It's a bit ridiculous. Are you ready? That's what you do best? Yes. I wish cars had toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm in the car all day. If you're desperate for a P or a number two... Wouldn't it be nice to not have to stop your journey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's called an RV. It, it is. Exists. But I'm saying in your driver's seat, while you're driving, no. you can just decide. No, 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 no. Your driver's seat is a moving <laughs> toilet. <laughs> no. Let's not go there. You don't like that idea? Uh, no. RVs are a great tool. <laughs> you can drive them around the country. You can just go to the bathroom in them you can get rid of the waste wherever you go with your rv park i know because then gas stations would have to get rid of what it'd be a disaster or no. you could make the engine run off methane what do do semi trucks some semi trucks have i don't know i think that they do and i think that they have to clean out the little tank that they have essentially you need to teach people how to drive in semis that's your solution oh or okay. rvs no. Either no. or. That would do you. Uh, problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> You're not putting a toilet in a Toyota Corolla. It's not happening. I'm not converting the driver's seat to a toilet. No. No. Because then like, every not student. Not like an airplane. Every student that has to come in. <laughs> or you just like you flush and it just goes onto the road. And then it's someone else's problem. No. Oh. All right, and that's been this episode. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I got for episode 211. Thanks so much for watching and listening. If you're watching on YouTube, please leave a thumbs up, a drop comment on the video. Let us know about our tier rankings. Let us know where you think we're at and share yours where you'd be. If you're listening on audio only, send us those tier rankings via social. Facebook is We Are Auto. Instagram is We Are Auto underscore. YouTube is We Are Auto. And our website is We Are Auto.io, where you can go to catch some of your favorite past races. So, thanks again. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.